Hi guys, I'm filming this intro a few days later because of course in natural grace fashion I would forget to film an intro. But this video is me getting ready to take my at-home graduation photos because of course we're all members of Zoom University now and we can't do anything in person. So I'm getting ready to take my graduation photos. I'm sure like 99% of the people watching this follow my channel. But I'm graduating law school this year. I'm actually graduating on Sunday. Graduating, they're doing like an online thing. But I was getting ready to take my photos and I still wanted to document that process even though it was sort of a at-home project. And if you are new here, make sure you go check out my vlogs. I have hundreds documenting my law school experience. And that's it. So if you aren't new, you know what to expect. And if you are, then just keep on watching to learn some more about me and learn about my law school experience. And I just kind of talk about my thoughts on law school and things like that. All right, gotta clip back my hair or else I'll just keep touching it. I started using the Dove dry shampoo a while ago because it was really like highly recommended by just other YouTubers I watch. And I don't really love it. I feel like it doesn't do anything about the actual grease in my hair. And then on top of that, it's really flat afterwards. I'm going to do, I guess, pretty full coverage makeup. Not full coverage, but just way more than I'd wear usually because recently I really haven't been wearing foundation at all because there's no reason to. And also my skin has been pretty good and I just haven't been wearing it. That was a lot of foundation. In the spirit of taking my graduation photos, I will put it on. It's so funny because I was going to film this video like a month ago when we were supposed to take our real graduation photos. And now it's like a DIY at home project. And if I'm looking over here, it's because that's where my mirror is. But I guess I'm just going to talk about my law school experience and thoughts in this video. I'm going to do a few other videos about law school, like my tips, five things I wish I did five things I'm glad I did, things like that. And that'll pretty much wrap up the law school videos, but for now, I'll just do some random rambling. So I guess we'll start off with my first year. My first year was good. I mean, I enjoyed it, my first year of law school. I like being busy. I don't mind doing work and homework and stuff like that and reading. Although, as the years went on, the readings were definitely <laughs> more difficult for me to do. But I enjoyed it. It's definitely very new. And honestly, I get messages all the time. Like, what can I do to prepare for law school? I even get people in high school messaging me. What can I prepare to do in law school? Or prepare for, for law school? What can I do now to prepare for law school? And honestly, in high school, my biggest tip is to enjoy your time. Sorry, I just kicked the tripod. If you are in high school worrying about what you're gonna do for law school, like you really just need to take a step back and enjoy your life because it flies by. High school, college, law school, it's all gonna fly by and I guarantee you once you graduate law school, you're gonna regret not enjoying your time in college or high school because you were busy worrying about what you're gonna do 10 years in your future. You don't have to be thinking in high school what you're going to be doing for law school. Just worry about high school. You know, get good grades, do the clubs you want to do, play the sports you want to play, hang out with your friends, don't get into too much trouble. And that would be my advice. Like, enjoy your life and stop worrying about what you're going to do in 10 years. That's my advice. Because for me, going into law school... In college, I knew I was going to go to law school, so I majored in criminal justice, not only because it was a pretty it's a pretty good major to have in law school, but because I enjoyed it. If I didn't enjoy criminal justice, I probably wouldn't have majored in it. But I did enjoy it, so that's what I majored in. The summer going into law school, I didn't do anything specific. I worked at a title agency, which is just where I worked all from high school all the way through college. 
So that was, you know, good for law school. It has some real estate law involved and stuff like that. But again, that wasn't what I did specifically for law school. It's just the path that I had been on since high school. Obviously, if your summer going into law school, you don't have anything to do, get a job, intern somewhere, shadow a lawyer if you want to get more experience or just see what it's like. But I don't really have advice on that because... I'm not a law school admissions worker, or I don't, I'm not a law school professor. I'm not even a lawyer yet. So I really don't have much advice on that kind of stuff. What I did was work at a title agency, majored in criminal justice. I got good grades. Um, try to keep your grades as high as you possibly can. Join clubs, be a leader in something. I was the vice president of the National Honor Society in college. I was a member of like the Criminal Justice Society and something like that. And that's really what I did. But anyways, this video is supposed to be about my law school experience. My first year of law school, going into law school, as I said, I didn't really prepare for anything. We had a three day or four day orientation, which literally teaches you everything you need to know about your first few weeks at law school. It teaches you how to case brief. It teaches you how to take a law school test. You don't really need to do any external preparations. Literally just show up to orientation and stop worrying. That's my only advice. Like you don't need to be contacting everyone you know who's been to law school to prepare to go to law school. Like just show up. Pretty much everyone is in the same exact boat as you. My first year was good. I enjoyed it. I got good grades. I made new friends. I did the moot court competition, which I think every law school does, usually in the spring semester. I really enjoyed that, and I thought it was fine. My first year of law school really, for me, wasn't hard. The second year, however, was. <laughs> because the first year, you're really just focused on going to class, you know, doing your readings, doing your cold calls, and taking your finals. That's pretty much all you're worried about. And then you do the write-on competition in the summer, and that's literally all you really have to worry about. But your second year, you, you know, I was on law review. I was doing advanced appellate advocacy, which was, are you kidding me? Who is banging on something? I'm sorry about the banging. I really don't understand how this happens, but it seems to happen every time I film a video. So I was in advanced appellate advocacy, which was like um, an advanced, oh, oh, which was an advanced um, moot court class because I liked the moot court competition. And then I did an externship at a prosecutor's office and trial advocacy course like I was just really really busy and then with law review I was just it's so much going on I felt like I never had free time and it was really stressful because my first year which everyone says is the hardest I didn't really find that hard but my second year you know a lot of the people I knew were just hanging out relaxing you know going to class maybe had a job but no one was really like as stressed and I'm like, am I doing something wrong? But I was just doing a lot of things at once. And I don't regret that now because all of those classes were really good for my learning experience and the externship was great for my resume and I really learned a lot at that externship. Overall, like I'm, I'm, I don't regret anything that I did my second year. I'm glad I did law review. I'm glad I ran for the e-board of law review. All of it was totally worth it. And I still get messages sometimes like, should I do law review? Should I not? I personally think you should at least try for the like write on competition. And if you don't get on law review, you don't get on. But I feel like you should just try because sometimes employers will ask, well, why didn't you do law review? And then you have to explain why you didn't or something like that. I don't know. I enjoyed it. I think everyone should try. The little saying that they have, the first year they scare you to death, the second year they work you to death, and the third year they bore you to death, I find totally true. <laughs> My first summer of law school, I worked at the title agency I had been working at previously, doing more legal things instead of just 
administrative tasks and I liked it but obviously I wanted to get a different experience than I did the prosecutor's office and then the next summer I worked in the major litigation department of a corporation which was a lot of research, writing, summarizing depositions, watching depositions, reading them, and a lot of appeals work. And I really liked that. Being an in-house attorney is definitely has its benefits, such as you work pretty standard hours. And I mean, that specific department was litigation. So those people would travel and litigate across the country, which I thought was really, really cool and definitely something I would be interested in doing. And then my 3L year, I worked at a criminal defense firm and that was also very interesting. Criminal defense work is what I went into law school for and I enjoyed it, but it taught me that being a criminal defense attorney is a 24 seven job. You don't have nights and weekends off. You know, if one of your clients gets arrested at 4 a.m., they're probably going to be calling you at 4 a.m. And it's just an around the clock job. It's demanding. Everything you do has a consequence, whether it be good or bad. And it's just a very demanding job. But I enjoyed it and I learned so much. And then pretty much a month after leaving that, no, like a month and a half after leaving that was when all of this stuff started happening with everyone transitioning to online, just all the craziness that we're dealing with right now. And it's definitely crazy. I mean, it's no one could have expected this is the way the class of 2020 would be graduating. And it's still shocking to me. And it does upset me that I don't have like a real graduation and I can't take real photos in my cap and gown and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, those are just pictures and, and I'm just glad that I'm healthy and my family is healthy and that I'm graduating, you know? And now that the bar exam is in September, I have a date to start studying and I'm just kind of still working through all of like what's been going on but I'm shocked still that I'm graduating because I don't know I don't exactly know what the saying is but it's like the days are long but the years are short or something like that and I think it actually has to do with parenting but I'm applying it to law school because the days are long but the years when you look back on it are so so short and if you're just going into law school as t depressing as it can be, as isolating as it can be, as demanding as it can be, try to enjoy it because these are the good old days, which is crazy to think. But when you graduate, it's a whole new world out there. Like this is your adult life. You are now, once you take the bar exam and pass it, an attorney and you have so many responsibilities that you need to enjoy the time in your life that you don't have those responsibilities. And as shocking as it is, those are the good old days. My advice would be to try to enjoy it and take it day by day and don't let it consume you and don't let being a law student become your personality because that, that can happen to a lot of people. Being a law student is not a personality trait. You have to keep your outside hobbies and keep your outside friends and do something that's for yourself that isn't related to law school because if you let law school become your entire world and your entire personality when you graduate your sense of identity is going to be really really messed up and i really think it's important that you keep a sense of identity that isn't being a law student i have so much more i could say about that but it'll turn into a rant and I don't want that to be this video. So my final wrap up thoughts on law school, this was just kind of a rambling video and I'm gonna do more thought out videos where I actually have things written out to say. My thoughts on law school are this, despite entering arguably the worst job market in modern history, other than the Great Depression, and despite, you know, not having a graduation and despite the bar exam being moved and just everything being changed, I wouldn't change anything 
for the world. I wouldn't have not gone to law school. I wouldn't have delayed going to law school. I truly appreciate my whole experience. I made the best friends I could ever hope for. And I'm so glad I was able to share my journey with you guys and help some of you and get some of you guys through tough times in your life and maybe help you make your decision on going to law school or make your grad school experience better just knowing there was someone out there going through a similar thing. I'm so glad I got to share this experience with you and your comments and messages to me really mean the world because I just know that there's people out there who support me and care what I'm doing and I'm really really thankful for that. So now I'm ready to take my graduation photos at home. I don't know how that's gonna go because we're supposed to use like the back facing camera and I'm not really sure how that's gonna work. I have one more final tomorrow, so I'm not actually done yet, but it's just one step closer. I have my little tassel here that I ordered on Amazon. It's pink, very L Woods of me, but I just thought it would be cute for my car really. To everyone who has watched me since my first year of law school and even before that, and anyone who's gotten on the ride since then, thank you guys so much for supporting me and supporting my channel and becoming my greatest friends. You guys have seen me go through some really great victories and see some really great defeats, especially my first year of law school. But I'm just so glad that I got to document this experience for you and it'll be on the internet forever <laughs> which is sort of disturbing but I hope you enjoyed this video I'm gonna go take my pictures now and as one of my last law school videos subscribe if you aren't like the video if you enjoyed and peace out I'll see you again in the next one